हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ए एस जी फिजिक्स अकेडमी आई होप यू ऑल आर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे कंसिस्टेंटली बिकॉज आफ्टर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वेन यू विल सॉल्व क्वेश्चन ऑफ द डे इट विल इंक्रीज योर कॉन्फिडेंस डेट विल हेल्प यू टू टेकल दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन द मेन एग्जाम नाउ लेट्स यू टू डेज क्वेश्चन A proton and an alpha particle are accelerated from rest to the same energy. The de Broglie wavelength lambda p and lambda alpha are in the ratio. So according to the question, I have taken two particles, one is proton and one is alpha particle. Now let's take proton is moving with kinetic energy k p and alpha particle is moving with kinetic energy k alpha. Then according to the question, energy of proton and alpha particle is same. and in the question we have to calculate lambda p by lambda alpha now the concept is whenever any particle of mass m is moving with speed v then this particle behaves as wave also this wave is called matter wave and the wavelength associated with this matter wave is given by lambda equal to h by p where this p is the momentum given by p equal to mv and we know that kinetic energy is given by half mv square so from these two expressions we can write here k equal to p square by 2m hence we can write here lambda equal to h by root 2mk because from here p equal to root 2mk now same expression we will use here so lambda p by lambda alpha is given by h by root 2 mp mass of proton and kp kinetic energy of proton similarly for alpha h by root 2 m alpha into k alpha now we can write here lambda p by lambda alpha equal to this h and h will cancel out this 2 and 2 will also cancel out that means m alpha by mp into root k alpha by kp we know that kinetic energy of both the particles are same that means this will cancel out that means this is coming here m alpha by mp now you have to remember the relation between mass and charge for three particles proton neutron and alpha particle because these three particles are normally they used to ask in the exam so just i will just write here proton Deuteron and alpha particle. Just remember it. Here I am writing mass, and this side I am writing charge. Now, let's take mass of the proton is m, and charge on the proton is q. Then mass on the deuteron will be two m, charge will be same q. Mass of the alpha particle will be four m, and charge will be two q. Now lambda p by lambda alpha is given by mass of alpha particle 4m mass of proton is m that means we will write here 4m by m so this m and m will cancel out that means this is going to be root 4 hence lambda p by lambda alpha is given by 2 by 